data is nothing but raw facts and in computer system we can see different types of data we have to make use of more than one classes and how do we connect those two different classes in programming that is the concept of inheritance so what is a data structure data structure is nothing but arrangement of data for the convenience of the user data file handling is a concept of how to work with types of files in computer programming dear students welcome to second puc computer science classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyashram pu college temple of excellence mysore students in this session today let me brief you about the syllabus of second puc computer science this is a textbook prescribed by pre university board government of karnataka for second puc computer science subject this is the book we have to follow in our syllabus now let us move on to the syllabus or the chapters in second puc computer science subject here overall all together there are 17 chapters in cs now let us see the description of the chapters or let me explain briefly about the chapters one by one along with its weightage now chapter 1 this is typical configuration of computer system and the weightage of this chapter is four marks one mcq and one three marks question so total weightage is four marks in this chapter we are going to learn the different hardware parts of the computer system and technical specification and technical name of all the different types of hardware in the computer now chapter 2 there is boolean algebra this weightage of the chapter is 10 there are one mcq and there are two two marks questions and one five marks question it is a very important chapter and it is in boolean algebra here we are going to learn the boolean equations what is a truth value what is truth table and how to solve a boolean equation with different methods and important concept in the chapter is about a k map that is another method of solving given boolean equation chapter 3 logic gates weightage of the chapter is 4 marks here one mcq and one three marks question this logic gate is a chapter here we are going to learn the de definition of logic gates different types of logic gates like basic logic gates and derived logic gates and we will know the what are the logical symbols and truth table and also how to design a logical circuit so that is also important concept next we move on to chapter 4 that is data structure what is a data structure you know what is a data data is nothing but raw facts and in computer system we can see different types of data so what is a data structure data structure is nothing but arrangement of data for the convenience of the user it is nothing but how do we arrange data in computer memory or how do we represent data in computer memory so in this chapter we are going to learn different data structure like array is an example of a data structure and also stack queue linked list trees and graphs those are the main concept we are going to cover in the chapter and here we will be learning the algorithms or how to write algorithms for different operations on different data structures next this chapter 5 review of c++ covered in first puc so here we are going to learn all the concept what you have learned what you explained in first puc and this time also the same syllabus is here same concept we are going to revise once again with examples next we move on to chapter 6 that is oops concept this is one of the concept in programming that is oops concept that is object oriented programming concept even this has a very good weightage of seven marks and one five marks question and one 
two marks question. Now, next we move on to chapter seven. This is classes and object. And we are going to learn another method of programming in C++. In first PUC, you have learned C++ programming with that is with a simple programming concept. But in second PUC, we are going to learn one step ahead in the programming concept by using concepts of classes and object. This chapter will define how to define the class or how to create an object of a class and so many concepts with different features of objects and classes. Chapter number eight, it is function overloading. It is one of the concept in programming. That is weightage of the chapter is six marks here, one, one MCQ and one five marks question. In this chapter, you will get one program based on function overloading. Next chapter is, that is chapter nine, constructors and destructors. This is weightage is eight marks, one, one more question, one two marks question and one five marks question. This one mark is of MCQ type. Next chapter number 10, inheritance, weightage is six marks, one MCQ and one five marks question. Here also most of the time you will get one program in final examination. Inheritance is nothing but acquiring properties of one class to another class. Here we have to make use of more than one classes and how do we connect those two different classes in programming? That is the concept of inheritance. Next, one more concept is pointers. Chapter number 11, that is pointers. Weightage is four marks, one, one more MCQ or one more question and one three marks question. Next chapter is 12, data file handling. Weightage is five marks one two marks question and one three marks question. Data file handling is a concept of how to work with types of files in computer programming. Basically it talks about text file as well as binary file. How do we work with, how do we open a file, how do we close a file and how do we append or how do we add information into a file and we are going to learn different syntax and different commands along with different header files or we say stream classes necessary to work with data file handling. Next concept is chapter 13 that is database concept weightage is 16 marks, one five marks question, one three marks question, one two marks question and here six is for one MCQ and five fill in the blanks with multiple choices or with the options. So totally six marks here, six plus one plus one plus one, total weightage is 60 marks. This is database concept. This is another method of, another method of storing data information in computer memory. So you might have familiar with the word database. That is, for example, student database. If you talk about student database, that is a place we store all the details of a particular student in a school or in a college. Whenever we require any information about a student, so we can make use of this database so that we can get or access the required data or information. So that is a concept we are going to learn along with theoretical concepts in database. Next, chapter number 14, that is SQL commands. Weightage is eight marks. One, one more question, that is MCQ. One is two marks question and one five mark question. Weightage is eight marks. In this chapter, we are going to learn different SQL commands. What is an SQL? It is nothing but a structured query language. So it is a language for database. Next, chapter number 15, it is networking concepts. Weightage is nine marks, two MCQ, one two marks question, one five mark question. Total weightage is nine marks. In this chapter, we are going to learn the basic definition of network. That is a computer network and different topologies means how do we connect different computers in a network and what are all the network devices available for networking and about different technical specification or technical aspects of networking 
like protocols and different types of protocols for different applications on the internet. So those concepts we are going to cover in the chapter networking concepts. Chapter number 16 that is internet and open source concepts. Weightage is 4 marks. Here 1 MCQ plus 1 3 marks question. This is internet and open source concept. Here we are going to learn the basic definition of internet and definition about what is website, what is www, what is web browser and so many technical definitions or different types of definitions with respect to internet. And what is the open source mean? These are the type of programs or these are type of applications where the source code is freely available to the users, where users can make use of these concepts, these, uh, these source program for its applications. So we are going to learn different theoretical aspects of open source concept. Next chapter 17, that is web designing. So here also we are going to learn different technical definitions or specifications all about internet, what is your domain, what is domain registration and also we are going to learn here what is e-commerce and definition of e-commerce and different types of e-commerce and like different languages we are using for website designing like HTML, XML, DHTML and so on. So these are the syllabus prescribed by the pre-university pre board for second PUC. Now let us move on to next section that is practical sections. Now all of you know that entire 100 marks question in CS will be divided into two sections. One is for theory and one is for practical. Here theory what I have explained so far is about theoretical concept that is for 70 marks. In 30 marks that is for practicals. It is similar to what we have completed in first PUC. So this is, there are three sections, A, B, C, and section A is of C++ programming, section B of SQL, and section C of HTML. There are two programs. All together, there are 22 programs for your practicals in C++. With respect to computer science practicals, this entire the 30 marks is divided into different parts or sections. Here, we have programming program A, that is first program C plus program. To write this, it carry six marks and B, that is one program based on HTML or SQL. This is for six marks and again program execution. it carry six marks and output two marks and viva four marks and for record for record writing it is six marks all together it is for 30 marks. So, we are entire 30 marks in practicals divided into different headings. This is first you have to write one of the program in C++ that is A and any of the program either you, you may get either SQL or HTML. So, any one of the program you have to write it. For writing a program it carries 6 marks for second program. So, after this execution of the program and that carries 6 marks and output. So if you get a proper output, you will get 2 marks. So at last you have Viva for 4 marks and record writing or record submission that is for 6 marks. So this is how your 30 marks practical is divided into different headings. Now look at the question paper pattern. So all of you know this time there is a change in the question paper pattern. Now. There are again four sections, part A, it is MCQ for 15 marks and five fill in the blanks. So MCQ multiple choice questions and here five fill in the blanks with options. Now part B, 
here you have to write any four questions of two marks each that is for eight marks and part C it is you have to answer any four and each question carry three marks it is for 12 marks and part D this is uh, you have to answer six questions any six questions and each question carry five marks it is for total comes to 30 and total paper for theory is of 70 marks and here part B is a short answer questions and part C is a descriptive questions. Now part D it is a five marks question it is a descriptive question. So this is the question paper pattern. Students hope you got an idea about the syllabus and practical section in second PUC. Thank you very much.